Brady, his shoulder came out, so that's why he was out. Damon Stafford had a concussion. Stingley had a, an ankle. He tried to come back and couldn't go. So needless to say, we had a number of injuries and they hurt us. Um, we had a lot of guys that were playing today that hadn't played very much or had much experience with us. And that didn't make it any easier, but uh, you know we didn't do a good enough job today. Obviously, got to generate some excitement to get get the juices going. But was the energy level there, the effort there, the intensity there that you need to see out of the football team going into an NFL game? You know, I, I mean, I think obviously it hurts us when we go three and out. They drive the ball down, we kick it off. I felt like it was in pregame. Our guys were ready. We just, uh, you know, we had a number of drop drop balls, missed blocks, I mean, we made some scheme mistakes that we haven't made. We missed some things defensively. So, um, you know, it just seemed like it. we had too many of those. So I don't know if that's a function of not being ready to play. So you've got the, the injury problems up front, suffered, suffered another one. But for Met to get knocked out two games in a row, did you feel like you're doing enough in addition to the line replacements to protect you? Try it. I mean, when they bring extra guys, you only got so many guys to block them. You know, the way the game, the way the Way the game went, it kind of puts you back against the wall. We tried running the football, and then you get to a third down, and you can't convert, and that makes it difficult. But uh, you know, we chipped, we put in extra guys, but at some point, you know, one on one, you got you got to hold up. Did, did you give any thought today, or would you give any thought moving forward if he is okay to play in the coming weeks to not play him, but risking he potentially could get hurt? Have you seen enough from him to say? You know, we're, we're, that's I, I don't know what his status is, Jim. So we'll, we'll talk about that. As as uh, I mean, that's something that I, I can't comment on right now. You're worried about your quarterback taking too many shots. Would you be? Yeah, yeah, I am. But I mean, um, you know, that that's obviously any of the quarterbacks that would be. Is this a low point for you right now, Jim? Those two, as opposed to what? Since we've been here? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously it was a tough day today. It's not fun, but we're working, you know. Only thing is, you know, our guys are, they're trying, they're working hard, and, uh, you know, we'll keep working and come out of it. You kept uh, all three quarterbacks, quarterbacks up today. Was that related to Matt coming in hurt or? Uh... Yeah, yes, that was, Paul. I was, and also because Kendall, who was our third quarterback, wasn't available today. So I just felt like that was because of that situation. Did you think about calling up a, another receiver to give you four? How'd you manage? Obviously, you manage as well as you want to offensively, but how'd you make it to the game just three receivers? We used Dexter, some as a receiver, and that was the plan coming in. We also had two tight end packages that we could use, but you know, we've got so many guys that are banged up, Jim, that didn't even dress that you know, you, it's, it's difficult to try to find a spot to do that. You fell behind by 17 again early. Does it get harder each time to try and come back from those kinds of holes? Well, I mean, it puts you, obviously, it puts you in a tough position, no question about it. Um, you know, they didn't hear it back and come after you offensively, and we couldn't get open or catch balls at times, and, you know, it makes it a struggle. So, uh, yeah, it's tough. How do you hang out with these guys in times like this? They're hanging together. I mean, that's a lot to the character of the player that we have. It's not easy, it's not fun. We've got enough young guys that are, a lot of them are trying to prove that they can play. So, you know, they're motivated to do it. And the veterans that have been around that, uh, you know, even though it's tough for them for a guy like Griff, to put a lot of time in, and, um, you know, he's working hard. And it's that type of leadership that keeps these guys together. How disappointed were you that the pressure wasn't there again today that you may have had too much time to play the football? Well, I mean, Obviously, we'd like to get pressure, but then you got to try to worry about the receivers too, uh, especially after we lost Stafford and Bleedy. You know, we had packages where we were going to try to double them, and uh, we're playing with guys that haven't had a lot of experience. What were your thoughts about Odell Beckham Jr., the rookie, coming in there? Well, he had a productive day. They did a nice job getting him the ball. And, position to make plays on defense, maybe in the 50 yard or down the middle. Guys are not making plays for you when they need to. I mean, how much would that change things, at least add a little excitement if guys could make some plays in there? Oh, 
Oh, there's no question that helps. I mean, you know, like I said, we had an opportunity to make some catches today that could have gotten us first down or, or uh, kept driving with them. You know, we didn't make. We had opportunities to make plays on the ball. You know, the one little bit of excitement was when Mark Weston intercepted the ball and ran it back. You know, those are the things that uh, can do to help get your team going because we're, we're certainly struggling with that. Call Klug, uh, you've been looking for an opportunity to call his number on offense? If we knew that play would probably work. Felt like in that situation on fourth down that it was a good opportunity because he's been successful blocking. So thank goodness it did. All the injuries and stuff, is there a point where you just sort of shake your head and just go weak with all the guys that keep going down? Well, I mean, it doesn't make it easier. I, I know coming into this game when we lost guys right early in the game, when we lost Bleedy and then we lost Damian and then, you know, uh, Stingman went down. We're playing with a tackle that's been with us for three days. Um, because both of our other tackles are out. Um, it's not easy, you know, it's, it's not. When, uh, when we've got two receivers that have been making plays for us this year, they're on the sideline, and uh, Justin and Kendall, you know, and those are weapons for the quarterback. I mean, but you know what? Nobody really cares. I mean, you know, we've got to play the games on Sunday. This is an opportunity for some guys to step up, get a chance to show what they can do. and. Uh, you know, that's what we're struggling through right now. People focusing on Delaney for two weeks, two weeks, uh, been kind of minimized. Is that in part because your receivers are dinged up and people can really pay extra attention to him? I think that's probably, I mean, you, you, you could ask them, but it certainly appears that way to me. And I, I mean, we're trying to do different things with Delaney to get him the ball because obviously he's been productive. Nate still made some plays for us, but uh, yeah, it, it seems like they are making sure that they focus on Delaney. Before it was hurt, I mean, did you think Zach struggled a little bit today? I mean, is it tough? We talked about this this week, but tough to evaluate him when you got guys running at him, you know, down two receivers now with Hunter and Kendall, making your job more difficult to find out what you're having him with so much stuff falling apart around him. Yeah, I mean, it's it's more difficult just because of the protection, because of where we are with the receivers. Um, you know, we'll look at the tape and see. Uh, you admire Zach for the toughness that he's showing and he wants to be in there and play and he's he's trying to get the job but you know we have to be realistic too of what we're what we're facing I mean he made a couple of throws today where we've got to make those catches he could have made a few throws a little better earlier too but uh, listen we've got to be able to run the football and convert third downs better than what we're doing as well that'll, that'll help everything. I know it's early but you, you say you, you think he tweaked the shoulder you pretty you convinced it's not anything it's it's Real serious. It just looked like it was an aggravation of, of the injury he had last week. Recently. Yeah, there's no question. Yeah, it's an aggravation of it. I don't know it to, to what extent. Yeah. Thanks. I'm trying to bring Zach in here. I haven't checked in with him.